Hi guys, so today I'm going to be trying out some lipsticks. The Velvet Liquid Lipstick by Fenty Beauty. I got them in three shades. The MVP, HBIC, don't know what that stands for, and Breadwinner. They do have two more colors, but they're more on like the pink mauve side. And I don't usually go for those colors anyway, so I'm like, why should I buy them? <laughs> Look at the beautiful packaging. I feel like luxurious. I'm going to go from the lightest shade to the darkest shade. First shade is called MVP and this is actually the one that I'm most excited about. Oh my god! You guys see why I was excited? Miss Rihanna, you did your damn thing with this one. I'm not even finished yet, wait. Stop! Lighting wise, I am just in front of a window. There's no like studio lights or anything. Stunning. Take all my money. I hope this never discontinues because this shade, this color, the feel, stunning. Do you guys remember like the Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick era where everyone was wearing like super matte lipstick? I always loved the look, but I could never wear liquid lipstick for a whole day. They would just crack in the middle of the day and I just look dry. I don't really know how to describe this, but it just feels like literally velvet. It's just so nice on the lips. It doesn't feel drying. It feels like like a mousse. Regular liquid lipsticks are in liquid form and then they dry on your, um, not face, <laughs> they dry on your lips, but not this one. The consistency in here is what you're going to get on your lips. The wand does tilt a little bit and I think it's supposed to be like that because every lip product that I have from Fenty Beauty kind of like tilts like that. I think it's supposed to be easier to apply. If I was going to go anywhere, I think I would clean it up just a little bit just to make it like sharp and like Mm, it's so nice on the lips gorgeous absolutely gonna be my go-to for date nights whenever i want to feel a little bit of power this this is the lipstick oh that came off pretty easy as well so that's a good thing to know liquid lipsticks usually take off your whole lip with you all right next shade hbic which is another red, but I think this is like a deeper red. Mm, all right. If you apply this, make sure that there's no like products on the tip of it because it can result in a little tiny bit like that, which is usually fine. You can clean that up. But since it's so freaking pigmented, it could be a pain in the bum to clean off. Pretty similar to MVP, but let's put them side by side so that you guys can see. Because just looking at these two shades right here, you feel like it's more of a drastic difference, but it's not really that different. Still gorgeous. Makes your teeth look whiter as well. These lipsticks only retail online at the moment. I don't know if they're gonna eventually go out to the stores, but um, yeah, at the moment, they're just online, just so you guys know, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so this shade is called Breadwinner. When you first take it out, you do have a little bit of a product buildup, which is completely normal, but just take some of that off. Oh, it's been a while since I had a shade this dark. shade i love this shade so much it brings me back to 2016 where everyone had dark bold lips <laughs> with liquid lipstick this formula feels so good on the lips 
Um, final thoughts. Love them. <laughs> if you could tell, these are the most comfortable liquid, like matte lipsticks I've ever tried, ever. And I tried a lot in my teenage years when that was popping. 2020 really shook us all, and I think that we all just kind of lost our passion for makeup in general. Um, but I feel like it's coming back. So that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and hopefully. I will see you in my next one. Let me know what you guys want to see next, by the way. But until then, see ya!